Welcome to Greg Norman's golf instructional video entitled The Complete Golfer. This is part two, the short game. In part one, Greg explored the fundamentals of the long game. Now we return to the Grand Cypress Resort in Orlando, Florida, as Greg focuses on elements of the short game. Shots played from 75 yards in. He tells us about chipping, putting, and the art of playing from sand bunkers. Here we are, we missed the green to the right. We're in the bunker. What do you people do out there? You panic. You don't know how to play bunker shots. You think it's the hardest shot in the game. Actual fact, it's one of the easiest shots. You got an extra element you can use to your advantage, the sand. All right, now if we can learn and understand the sand, we're gonna be able to play bunker shots a lot easier. If you hit the fairway, you could only got one shot. That's hit the ball solid and hit the ball first if you're gonna execute the right shot. Here in the bunker, we can use the sand for numerous things. We can make the ball spin. We can hit the ball higher. We can hit the ball lower. We can make the ball run. So we're using the sand as, our, as an extra piece of tool in our bag. We can manipulate it. This shot here right now that we're going to do is we've missed the green to the right. We've got a little downhill uh, slope to the flag. And we've got to stop the ball quickly. So obviously, we need the spin shot. We have about 15 or 20 feet of bunker to go over. Don't panic. It's really an easy shot to play if you don't get overexcited about it. Now, let me first of all explain about the golf club. And the reason why a bunker shot can be a little bit easier than what you think is because of the flange. This is the only golf club in your bag that is designed or has a larger flange than normal. Now, if you can zero in here, you can see this flange right here has got a little bit more of a bulge and thickness to it than most of your other irons. Now, that is designed for a reason. Let me talk about if we can get down near the sand here. The, the golf club, when it enters the sand, should be using the flange. The flange of the golf club should enter the sand like this. Now, the reason why we should do that is, as the golf club hits the sand, it's automatically going to close because there's resistance. So what happens is the golf club is going to do this a little bit. All right, you understand that now? And then, OK, we're going to allow for it. Now, the reason why, the, how we allow for it is open the club face up as much as we can. How many times you've gone in the bunker and you've seen a professional or a good bunker player open his club face up flat like this? You think, oh my gosh, you can't get it out. What's going to happen? But this is what you've got to do. We're, counter, we're counteracting the club face closing as it enters the sand. So as it comes down and hits my palm here like this, it's going to naturally close a bit. Now, if I start with the club face as it sits normal on the ground, like so, what's going to happen is that flange is going to make the club face dig into the sand. So let's go back down to the sand here and see what happens. Here is the, what we're trying to achieve. Lay the club face back, almost horizontal to the sand. Here is the way the golf club normally sits with about 56, 57 degrees loft. That's how it sits. OK, now as this golf club enters the sand, the flange is going to close the club face a bit. And as it closes, the leading edge is going to go digging in. That's why you amateur players out there and weekend players mess up your bunker shots. The club head digs into the sand too fast, and you chunk it. The ball either goes two feet, and you go, oh my god, I hate bunkers. Or you rifle it over the green, and you're into another bunker, and you go, oh no, here I go again. I'm going to panic again. I'm going to take a seven when I should be really taking a five, which would be my worst score. So what we've got to do, and we're going to talk about the technical part of doing this now, is open that club face up. Use the golf club like it's designed to be used. Use your flange. OK, now let's show you the shot, and we'll talk about a few techniques about how to get a little bit of spin on the ball. First of all, we've got to talk about our balance. This is one shot where we're really trying to eliminate a lot of lower body motion. A bunker shot, we're trying to get our feet in the sand. You see the players dig their feet in. Now, the reason why we're doing that is two. We're going to try and find out the texture of the sand, find out how deep the sand is, which is a very important thing. If you find out the sand is very firm, we've got to change our technique a little bit, which I'll go into later on. If we find out the sand is real soft, and there, obviously you can see here there's a lot of sand underneath the ball, we're going to have to be careful that the club doesn't dig in too quickly. So we're just going to have to make a little bit of a variation. And the way I do that is I make sure I open the club face up even more. Because the, more it's, the wider it's open, the less chance you've got of digging in, which is what we're trying to eliminate. OK. We dig our feet into the sand. We have to stand a little bit open. I'm going to draw in a, a line on the bunker here to show the exact line from the ball to the flag, which is along this line here. 
I'm going to extend the line past the golf ball, back for my backswing. Now I'm going to draw another line that would make my stance square to that. Now, as you notice, when I take my stance, I'm probably standing 20 degrees open to my intended line of, uh, for the shot. Now, you see what happens? If I stand square to my shot, which is straight down there, if I open the club face up like I wanted to, I'm almost going to hit it down your television set. And we don't want that. We, so what we do is we move our body to the left until our club face gets square to this line that I've drawn in the sand. Now, you'll notice my left toe is pointing a little bit more to the left. If I take my normal address position towards the line here for a shot, my left toe is just at a slight angle. In the bunker shot, my left toe is probably aiming twice as much to the left. The reason why I do this, to eliminate my body falling forward. If the more I point my toe towards the target, the harder it is for my knee and my body to go this way because I've got resistance. I've got sort of a, a platform I'm hitting on. If I have my foot straight there, it's easy to go this way. And the more, chance, the more your body goes forward, the easier it is for the club to dig in. You know, your weekend plays, you get back here, and this is your typical shot. Oh my gosh, you're buried in the front of the bunker. Or if you catch it thin, it's going to go over the green. You notice the divot? Very deep, very steep. The, the club head has entered the sand too fast. What we're trying to do is get the club head to skim across the top like that. That's about as deep as we want the divot to be. Now, pointing that left toe towards the target can help you get that nice skimming motion because your body's going to stay firm. Left toe a little bit more to the target for stability. Feet firmly embedded into the ground. Execution of the shot. Make sure the club face is open. Feel comfortable. Now, when you open your club face up, again, this is a point I see every Wednesday I play in a pro-am or whenever I play with my friends. They'll get their normal grip with the club face in the normal position like that, and I'm going to say to them, open your club face up. What they do is they go like this. Now, notice my grip. It goes open and open. They're trying to open the club face by just moving their hands over, not taking their redoing their grip, they're just turning their hands over. What's going to happen then? Remember we talked about the grip, how your hands return to the normal position, most natural position. As they come down, your hand's going to go back like this. See what happens? The club face is going to dig into the sand. We're going to fluff it. So what we got to do, just take your one hand with your right hand or left, lay the club face open, then re-grip it to the open club face. Do not change your grip. Keep your grip exactly the same. All you're doing is just changing the loft and the direction of your club face. You've got that grip. You've got the club face open. You've got your left toe pointed towards the target. Don't be scared of it. Nice, firm swing. Don't decelerate. A lot of amateur players go long, get down here and go, oh my gosh, dig, stop, flop. You miss, hit the shot. The other bad fold is you come all the way back here, you go, oh, bunker shot, up and out. The ball goes 60 yards over the green. Be confident with it. When you get in there, execute your shot. We don't need a full backswing. We need like a three o'clock swing. Get back to here, stop. All right, you've still got your nice firm movement. And you, you notice my hips haven't taken a full turn. My upper body has just turned a little bit and very little shoulder turn because I'm just using my hands and arms. Get back there and accelerate the club face under the ball. And the ball will pop up nice and high. Don't be scared of it. Execute it. Be confident and aggressive. buried lie. We find it quite often a lot of the golf courses we get built nowadays because a lot of the sand is very loose. Buried lie is, is a difficult shot to play because you have to enter the sand at the right way and the other 
detraction from it, you can't get any backspin. The ball is going to hit the green and release. We have to allow for that. Sometimes you can't. You have to swallow your medicine. Take your, take your best way out and make your bogey and try not to get too cute with a buried lie and hit it close to the flag and make a double bogey. Accept your medicine. Sometimes you're going to get it, sometimes you won't. So let me explain to you what will happen and how we're going to try and get out of this. You explained before about opening the flange of the club. What I do with the buried lie, here we had the, what I had before, trying to hit a high soft spin shot. The club face was here. Now all I do for a buried lie is keep the club face there, but I will lower my hands. Now you see what happens to the toe of the club when I lower my hands? It comes up. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I need to get the club face under the ball or into the sand under the ball as fast as I can get it. So all I do is now what I'm trying to do is by lowering my hands, I'm going to use this part of the golf club to enter the sand. In other words, I'm using the heel of the golf club to get the ball out. Now, why? I'll explain to you if you come down to see this. Here's my conventional if the ball was sitting nice, right? When I lower my hands, the heel is going to come right in underneath the ball. So all that's going to happen is the heel of the club is going to dig in this way. With the club face still open, the ball is going to pop up fairly soft and run a little. Let me execute the shot and show you. Same, same deal. Bury your feet in the sand. Point the toe of your club, toe, your left foot towards the target. A little open stance, same motion. Exactly the same backswing, but you may want to have a tendency of picking it up a little more. Remember, we want to get the club face in under the ball as fast as we can. So open your club face, lower your hands. You see, I've lowered my hands. Nothing's changed, and so what I'm going to do now is just pick the club face up a little bit quicker and bring it in right underneath the ball and stab. It's the only shot I want to stab because the club head is going so far into the sand, we can't have any follow through and the ball will just come, the club face will go straight underneath, the ball will pop straight up and got it on the green. we find ourselves here in a sea of sand remember we're in the greenside bunker and I mentioned to you it's a confidence shot you just got to approach it like you're on the fairway forget you're in the sand just it's the same full swing technique same